Thanksgiving is right around the corner and people are preparing for the big feast. 22 News reporter Kiara Smith has a look at the financial impact buying those Thanksgiving groceries will have this year. Alana, while turkey prices are lower this year, prices for other foods are still high. It's double of what I would have to pay. And sometimes I either have to choose between paying my rent or celebrating Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is just a few weeks away and many Americans are stacking up on food for their holiday feast. But this year Thanksgiving dinner may cost Americans a lot more than last year, even as turkey prices go down. A Springfield resident says it's expensive to buy chicken and cheese. I'll say the biggest, most expensive thing for me is actually making macaroni and cheese from scratch. The cheeses are like eight to twenty dollars a piece. And it's hard to get the ingredients that you once was able to easily just grab. A report from the Wells Fargo Agri-Food Institute says even though food at home inflation slowed down 2.4 percent since last October, this year will not be less expensive as weather and other forces impacted food costs this year. According to the Institute, the price for ham was $4.56 per pound in September, which is 5.2 percent up from last year. Sweet potatoes are currently up 4% from a year ago, and costs for canned pumpkins are 30% higher from last year. But the price for some items went down, including turkey, which should cost consumers 16% less this year. Shoppers can also expect to pay about 20% less for fresh cranberries, and romaine lettuce is down 10%. So if you're looking to beat these high costs for your holiday dinner, Consumer Reports say some things that you can do is buy store brands instead of name brands and use coupons. And you can also save money by buying in bulk and also checking in with your local grocery store to see if they have any free giveaways. Working for you live, Kiara Smith, 22 News.